Three, two, one, go. Welcome back to my little studio slash bedroom. I kept seeing online how easy it is to fill holes and then, you know, use wood filler to fill the holes and then just sand it down. So it's never quite that easy when you do it for the first time, but that's kind of what this channel is all about when it comes to sculpting, printing, you know, I just try to do all of these things that I always hear are so easy to do. And they're never that easy, but I think it just takes time. That was the huge crack in the tail, which broke off. And this snail shell, I actually printed, I didn't bully in it for the body. So I was trying to sand it down, which didn't really work. Now it's prime day. You know I love some good slow-mo. I do have a lens protector on my camera. One of those little screw on lenses on my nice camera. So if there's any of her spray back, it's not gonna ruin my lens. I had a bunch of prints fail. I was very upset. Again, you can tell by my body language there. I wasn't very happy about that. So I wound up taking the water washable resin out of my printer and I put my regular anacubic resin back in. And here I just, after I primed it, I wanted to add some more wood filler and keep on sanding and keep on sanding because I wasn't exactly sure, you know, when or where you're supposed to sand it. I sand, I filled it before. So I was just trying to get it as smooth as I could. And what really helped was um, going in circles and then giving it a little bit of pressure. Before I was trying to be careful, be soft with it. But once I kind of put some pressure on and brought it down from the wood filler and brought a little bit of the primer and all that stuff down, then it sort of became smooth. The tail didn't get quite as smooth as the head though. So I did a better job with the head. I try to get at least a bunch, a nice handful of things that I have to paint before I get out the paint and start working with it. I'm pretty happy with how this looks, given that it was, the tail was completely cracked off. I think I did a pretty decent job. But I like to spray a lot at the same time because it's just a lot of work getting everything set up and getting everything cleaned. So I like to do everything in nice big batches. And these are my little Yetis. And a lot of these are just experimenting with the different colors and different textures. But these are some really great, I wanted to get that nice bronze with the turquoise sort of color underneath. So just a lot of experimenting, but I'm very happy with how they came out. So the next step, what I like to do is add the 
either flat or gloss spray that goes over the paint to kind of protect it. Uh, I'm just adding the eyelashes to this little guy because the eye the eyelashes are going to be the same finish as the gecko so uh, I just wanted to add those in. Triple thick glaze for the gloss. So once everything has the finish, then I can bring everything inside and start to glue things together and sort of finish out the process. I still have a lot of work to do with best practices for these pieces and making them fit, but I'm definitely doing much better than I was to begin with. Uh, and I'm very happy the way that these turned out. They're not perfect, but you know, I'm working on it. And this guy actually has a lot of pieces and I sort of cheat in the video. I put the tongue in, but it wouldn't, the teeth wouldn't go in with the tongue. So I actually had to pull the tongue out add the teeth, and then snap the tongue down after that. I also had some trouble with the top teeth as well. They just wouldn't go up far enough. So something to think about the next time I'm sculpting, I have to make the slots for the things to go in just much more simple. Even this, I probably don't need a notch. I can just glue it right on the flat surface. Still very happy that how he came out. I do have to prime and paint, uh, give him a nice color shell. And these are my little characters. Very happy with how they turned out. Uh, it's really fun. It's a long process, but it's really worth it. And I love bringing you guys on the journey with me. I hope you guys learned learned a lot. There's going to be a lot more videos like this. I hope I don't drop any more of my <laughs> creations, but you know. And here's Stitch. Looking forward to priming and painting this little guy as well. Thank you guys so much for watching the video. Be sure to like and subscribe. And if you want to go more in depth, then definitely check out my Skillshare classes where I am a top teacher. I have about 50 classes, both Procreate and Nomad Sculpt. I also have a few classes on Udemy. So if you want to learn more or you just like my style, you like the way I teach, you want to support me, those are some other places that you can do it. Thanks again. Keep drawing, keep sculpting. I'll see you all in the next video.